Hello YouTube and welcome to a new unboxing video on this channel. Today we have the Nubia watch. This was actually a Kickstarter campaign which I nearly forgot about earlier. Nubia makes also some gaming phones such as the Nubia Red Magic gaming phone. Which is quite a decent phone. But I do prefer my regular ROG phone too. Awesome phone. The annoying thing about this is it did take a really long time for this to arrive because I did back this on the Kickstarter campaign so it actually went for about $200 but now you could get it in like some retail stores like Catch of the Day on in Australia for about $450 so I did get a big price off but it did come really late. It would have been quicker if I just ordered off like Catch or Kogan.com. That's another thing which I am quite annoyed with Nubia for doing. They actually release it for retail without fully releasing it to all of their backers back on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. So that's quite a big bummer on their end. Hardware wise, this device is actually running on some older hardware. The Snapdragon processor in here is the Snapdragon 2100, so it's not even last year's 3100 series or the recently released 4100 devices for Snapdragon. So, yeah, this is about two generations old in terms of processor. It only has one gig of RAM. And the Bluetooth is ISO Bluetooth 4.1, not 5.0. So yes, I did get this really late. And, but it was still released sometime last year. So I don't know why it came like so late for me. Must have been quite a big bummer. Quite annoying. I kind of nearly forgot about this device as well. But yes, it's a late device. Futuristic design though. But hardware wise, it is really late and really old hardware. This part here is a bit misleading saying waterproof. It's actually not waterproof. From recently from what I have seen, it is only an IP54 splash resistant rating. So it's definitely not waterproof, not water resistant. It's only splash proof. Yep, so let's get into the box. say the box does look quite cool there. Has a bit of that cool sheen. Let's see what's in here. There it is. The Nubia watch. With its curved 4.01 AMOLED display, which apparently is what they call shot glass. So the build is a uh, ceramic and stainless steel. Here it seems like there's a bit of a lip from the screen. It still looks quite good. Yeah, this design, yeah, they would say is definitely futuristic, but unfortunately it came a bit too late in the game. From the top, the display is like really hard because of this back plate. But it does seem like there is some flex at this bottom part screen as well as here as well. Top and bottom are a bit flexible, which is actually part of the design. And that's just a standard watch band. And it also seems like a proprietary connection for the watch band as well. So let's see what else is in the box. So what we have got. Here, yeah, that would be the proprietary magnetic connection. And yeah, 
down the USB Type A to micro USB. Again, a bit old. Micro USB, why not USB Type C? Again, from the other side. A smaller watch band. Warranty. And a quick start guide. And by this, yes, in English, so that's quite easy to read and have a look at. As a Kickstarter backer, we also got one of these, which is just some additional straps. But it seems like these are more leather straps instead of the rubber straps. Still both in black, but one is rubber, if that's just a default, or a leather strap. To either put on or put in these straps, all it is is just that little pin to take it out. Yep, so it comes off quite easily. Let's see if this unit has any power. Yep, doesn't seem to be any power at all. Must have been lost in shipping, and yeah, that's probably why it's dead. So the charger is a magnetic charger, just connects right there. And yeah, it's quite a good, quite a good snap. So yeah, that's just what it looks with the charger. And unfortunately, yes, it is still a micro USB. Would have been nice if it was a USB Type-C. Since this had no power, we're just gonna charge this for a little while and we'll be right back. Since this unit does not come with a wall charger, I did have to grab just a standard wall charger to charge the device up. And we'll have a look at the software when we get back from charging. All right, so we're back from charging. So let's see if it has power now. Yep, there is power. So that's the boot up. Let's see how long it takes to boot. taking a while to load. Yeah, probably not the fastest to load, but this is actually the first boot. Yep, and there we go, new PR watch. Whoop. And you can see the text wraps around, all the way around. And wow, this is quite a long one. And it's still going. Humongous load amount of text. And it's still going. And going. Yeah, there it is. And so to get into the app, we just need to pair using the code. We'll just get that up here. So we have the Nubia Smartware app. do is scan the get code to pair. There we go. And connect. And pair. I'll probably put it on my left so you can choose between left and right. And we put in all the details, we'll be right back. In the app you can control a bunch of stuff including the sport mode and the heart rate monitor. You could also track sleep and here as well you could see all of the stuff about the device as well as do any updates if needed. The device itself is a lift to wake. They could see everything once you lift up your 
device. Swiping down, you get all the standard quick settings. Swiping up is any notifications. And either swiping left or right will have all of your apps. So there's a call, messages, sport mode, health, heart rate, settings, garage, compass, schedule, clock, stage phone, and music. This is all just the standard apps on the device. Probably will not get any more apps on here since it is a proprietary operating system by Nubia. It is not Android Wear. By holding down on the display, you can actually change the display types. So, do you choose the one that suits you? There are actually many options. So it'll probably take a while to choose the one that I like. This is the home screen I ended up choosing. It does look kind of cool. The mode keys in the device are some interesting things, which you could also edit on the phone app as well. This album look kind of interesting, but it's good to know that we can edit some of these. But just having a look at how some of them look. This one is sort of like a matrix style. Next, we have this one, there's more starry skies. Yep, and that one's a bit trippy. It looks like so kind of cool, a bit of neon. Here as well, we do have an active heart rate monitor. So it's always active and actually tracking your heart rate. And it comes automatically to the app as well. So you can actually see all the heart rates as it changes. Automatically update straight to the app. As well, there is a sort of an always on display. I, not exactly, but if you just flip it up, it comes up with the simple display which is just called the show clock when the screen is off. You turn that on. And we'll have a bunch of these different watch faces to use. So it's not always on. You'd still have to flip up the device to show it. Otherwise, it's mostly off. The device as well has GPS. And it's a connect to other Bluetooth devices. And it has its own Wi-Fi. So the operating system that they use, they just called it Nubia Wear OS. It is not the Android Wear OS. So the Nubia Watch does have a, have a bit of its own space just for music, which you could actually just load up some music onto the device. It's only about four gigs worth, so it depends on how much storage you could, how much music you could fit in that four gigs. Yeah, it's a, in a way something good that you could play with. So you might not actually need to have your phone around to play music with the device. The dialo itself is actually quite small, even though it's such a long display. They could have done a lot more on this. But it also does seem like the dialo is quite easy to lock up. Once it goes out of alignment, numbers are really hard to type on. As well, it does have a messages, but it doesn't seem to grab it from the phone as of yet. On the device as well, you can see all of your health data, and as well you could set like sports ideas. So free workout, outdoor walking, indoor running, out outdoor running. You could actually just set that and have your own workout. So a lot of possibilities here for health. If you like these kind of videos, please like and consider subscribing as will help this channel a lot. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.